This video, we're going to be going over the best red zone defense in Madden 24, and it is the 4-3, even 6-1 defense, which can be found in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. Now, if you guys want to run my version of this defense, it's in our Patreon. Patreon members get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for just $10. Link is going to be down in the description below. And what I wanted to talk about today is my favorite way to play defense in the red zone. So what we're going to do here is in our coaching adjustments, auto flip defensive play call is going to be off. Auto alignment is going to be set to base. Option defense is going to be set to conservative. Uh, our flats, what I like to do with these is set these to zero or five. Our curl flats, we're going to set these to 20. You could do 15, but I like 20. And then our hooks, we're going to set them to five. And we're going to be coming out in this cover four quarters defense. Now, from this right here, we're actually able to get to some really, really nice defensive concepts um, just with a couple of different adjustments. So what I like to do when I'm defending here is we're going to drop both of our outside corners into hard flats. That's going to help us stop a lot of screens and stuff. We're going to drop both of our safeties into purples, and I like the shade outside. And then we're going to drop these linebackers into vert hooks. So you see this is what the defense kind of looks like. I also really like to either leave this crash as it is because I could shoot down the A-gap all shotgun runs, or I can crash them out or in. So what we're going to first go over is kind of the standard RPO screen that everybody wants to use down here in the red zone. And you'll see that if they run the ball, we're going to be able to basically shoot the run with our user. Now, the other thing that we have with this defense, because we shaded outside, our user is really responsible for the tackle box, if you will, from tackle to tackle in this kind of middle area of the field. We don't want to chase anything across the sideline. But let's say they do throw this RPO screen here to the left. You see that this flat zone KO or mid zone KO is typically going to knock that out, especially if those flats are on five or zero, or if you're just using a regular hard flat. So then what you're going to be able to do, is we kind of take that away. So now we're going to force them to go to this RPO bubble. And because we have these vertical hooks and these safeties kind of flowing outside, again, shade outside is important. What you'll see here is if they try to throw this RPO, you're going to get a quick shed, and oftentimes you'll get a quick tackle from that outside defensive back. So it kind of takes away a lot of the things that Trips Tied In wants to do from a passing perspective. So then the next thing that I want to go over is how we can, or I'm sorry, for a running, running perspective. Now I want to go over kind of how we stop the meta Trips Tied In setups from a passing perspective. So you see here, something like this is pretty standard just essentially slant post in the, in, the, in the red zone. And we're really trying to get take advantage of this. So you see, I'm just waiting right in here. Notice that these curl flats, they're gonna, because we shaded outside, they're going to play those outside posts with the, the hitch concepts that are very, very common. Now I wanna show a couple of ways to use this defense if someone is coming out in a little bit more of a heavy running style set. Let's say for example, uh, like the I-form bubble type stuff that you see very popular online. It's pretty much the same. The only difference is now we're going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line to the inside. And then all we're going to do here is we're still going to drop these guys in the outside in the hard flats. What I like to do with my linebacker, especially the weak side linebacker, is I like to man him up on circle, which is then going to mean that I want to have a yellow zone here to the left-hand side. And then to the right-hand side, I typically want to go ahead and purple him. And then the choice is yours if you want to blitz the linebacker on the right-hand side or if you want to yellow zone him. I typically like to blitz him just to kind of set the edge a little bit. And then we're just going to man ourselves up to the running back. And essentially our job is to shoot this stretch run. So as you see here, we get in the backfield and we're able to muddy up the stretch. And then we also need to kind of just mentally – have just just make sure that we're able to defend this little running back route. So what you're going to see here, again, this kind of the setup of the coverage. And what you're going to see is if they try to throw this little thing, it can be very easily pick sixed and pretty much definitely going to get KO. It's very, uh, it's also is going to apply to the, the Colts under center wing slot type stuff. So you have that in your back pocket as well. Lastly, let's say that you want to kind of mix in a pressure and let's say you're playing maybe this bunch strong offset, really good red zone formation. What I like to do now is we're going to global blitz all of our, we're going to basically blitz everybody. And then we're going to put two hard flats and two yellows. Very simple. And what this is going to do, if you really wanted to, you could put this right side guy on a curl flat, the trip side guy on a curl flat, just to take away anything over the top. But I love to use these hook curls down here. And then make sure you put your user on a zone or man him up to the running back so that you can shoot the run well and you get KOs. 
And what you'll see is you're going to absolutely scream at them quick. And then there's really just not a, a lot of space for them to be able to manipulate. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get my entire ebook on this defense, link is going to be down in the description below.